What's up guys and welcome back again. Uh, how are you guys doing after this Thanksgiving? I'm doing pretty good. I had some time with my family, myself, you know, getting back on the grind of some videos here. Uh, and you know, recently the local mountain here in Red Lodge, Red Lodge Mountain actually opened up. I spent uh, the, a few hours before now actually getting the old snowboard out or I guess my new snowboard out and hitting the slopes because I want to be a bit more of a better snowboarder. Uh, besides, you know, kayaking, rafting, I actually do winter sports, of course, uh, you know, I'm mostly a skier, but this year I decided to get more into snowboarding, um, and it's been going rather painfully. <laughs> I actually landed pretty hard on my shoulder here, and yeah, it's still a little tingly. Um, nothing's broken, as I can tell, but definitely sore and tingly. Other than that, um, since we are coming more into the winter sports here a little bit, I wanted to, you know, kind of react a little bit to what's called Jerry of the Day videos. You guys are probably familiar with these. Um, they are, you know, just homebrewed videos. Most people just take them on their cell phones and then send them into this person or this person, people, whoever they are, find them, and put them into videos or up on their up on their Facebook or social media sites. And their videos uh, of things like going wrong, you know, funny moments where people could be hurt could possibly be hurt out there on the slopes, could possibly not be hurt. Um, a lot of it is just people falling down or equipment going crazy or like first timers having a hard time out there. Uh, so that's what basically Jerry of the day is. Uh, that being said, um, we're just gonna take a look at um, Jerry of the day, best of 2018 part two. Uh, why part two? Well, uh, why not? All right, let's jump into it here. Let me turn the volume up a little bit. Oh my gosh, it's flying. Uh-oh. Wow, that kid got some air. Holy crud. Oof. I remember doing that when I was young too. You know, sliding and you know getting as fast as I could down the slopes. Hitting air like that, it, it just hurt. <laughs> but you know, most things hurt when you're going down at speed. Oh, I gotta say the worst part of that one really was just, you know, the position of the person filming. I don't know, um, or I might, I might know why it is, but uh, you know, you see a lot of those videos where a person's coming right at you and all of a sudden they, they, they biff it, as we like to say, their equipment falls apart, yard sale, and you know, stuff comes tumbling at the person. Um, a lot of the time the people, you know, skiing or snowboarding at the person wants to basically just hit their edge and send a whole bunch of snow up, in, up into the person's face. I did it to my sister a lot when I was younger, growing up and skiing. Uh, she did it to me, of course, and then we did it to our friends. You know, it was just something that we did. Uh, but there is definitely the thing of, if something goes wrong, that person with the camera is gonna take a face full of whatever's flying at them. And then their camera's gonna roll off down the hill. Oh, I got got whacked in the face. Ooh. Wow, she had it, and then her skis are just enough spring to send her back forward. Ooh, right there. If you know, if there was a ski patroller watching or someone who didn't really know how this video ended, you know. I almost think she like just speared her back, but I think she gets up after this, which is nice. At least nice to know that she gets back up after this, hopefully. You know, it's gonna hurt, but. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh goodness. Um, I actually work up in my local mountain. Uh, I work in the rental center, uh, dealing with a lot of first timers, people who don't really know how the, the proper use of the equipment or where to use them or where not to use them. Uh, and we've had several people very similar to this individual who have either skied through what we call the courtyard there, um, kind of a, an area between all the buildings, uh, or we've caught them before they've skied too far into it, or they've you know stopped where the snow stops because the snow doesn't cover all the courtyard, and they've walked across rocks and mud puddles to a chair to you know, basically take their skis off. Uh, but basically, condensing it all down, 
This is not very good for your skis. Uh, it rips up the bases of the skis, it gives you course shots, you know, takes the edges off the skis. Basically, if you do this, you're gonna spend a lot of money to get your skis fixed. Or, if you're doing this, you probably don't care about the skis anymore. Because they are gonna be trashed. I just like how confident the guy looked too. Going inside too. Some people just don't want to stop and take the skis all off because the skis do come off. Oh, that's not gonna end well. Oh man, that tire screech. Ooh. Yeah, that guy's not happy. You see, this is why there are. If you're filming backwards at your buddies, you, you know, either you or your buddies need to know how to ski pretty well. Uh, that actually looks like a set of cross country skis. Or there's a few minor differences between an alpine ski, which I usually ride, versus a um, cross country ski. Uh, first off, um, most alpine skis, you know, regardless of Telemark, um, are actually, you're fully hooked into the ski itself, your, your toes and your heels. Uh, these ones might have just popped off, but just looking at the binding part, kind of right where the mouse is, those look like um, cross-country skis. You know, nothing against you guys who do cross-country. Uh, I prefer to be gravity-assisted in my skiing. Um, but, you know, people like to cross-country ski. Um, the other differences are usually, alpine skis are usually wider, too. Mine are, you could probably put two, al you could probably put two cross-country skis uh, just along, along the width of my uh, alpine skis themselves. And Sam is getting rather rambunctious over there, apparently. Oh, little guy, you didn't rotate enough. Oh! Ooh. So this is kind of what I felt like when I was skiing today. Um, just all these people on one run. Uh, definitely not uh, a situation I wanted to be in, especially as I'm still learning how to snowboard. I'm still very much novice at it. You know, I can turn. Uh, I've taken a few good hits today, um, you know, probably have bruises here. I do have a, a bump right there from, you know, snowboarding today alone. Um, but with only a few runs open here on Red Lodge, this is kind of what I felt like. You know, everybody was just condensed into just a few runs and, you know, there's quite a few people on the hill and in the cars in the parking lot. It's kind of what I felt like, just skiing with all those people and not really too sure on my edge control on my board yet. Oh, I got some hair. And out of his skis. Yeah, he's got up. <laughs> ah, face it. Man, these are going fast. Oh, wow. Oh, goodness. If we had that much snow right now, everyone would be on the hill right now in Red Lodge. There is very little snow out there at the moment. Like, I could walk outside and pick up dry leaves and they probably have to pick up Sam's, you know, Sam's landmines yet, but. That's a, that's a chore for another day. Uh oh, uh, he missed the poles, man. Oh, he found the net. Ah, he found the net. That's what he was going for. Well, hey, I mean they're, they're snowshoes, but that doesn't mean they can't be mud shoes. <laughs> so this lift here is called the pommel lift, or some people might call it a button lift, but it basically has this round platform on a. Um, um, Round platform and a pole on a retractable wire, basically up to a big old spool up above you that actually on the hall line. Um, and when you're riding, you, 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 do, you kind of hook it between your legs and then you ride up the lift uh, with your board or your skis touching the ground. Uh, definitely a lot easier on skis because you're actually facing uphill, whereas the boarders kind of have to hook it between your legs, still have to plant both feet on your board, and then somehow orient yourself where you're still being pulled by the by the lift, uh, but you're not gonna be catching the edge of the board because that's what causes people to fall over like this. Uh, uh, and unfortunately, there's not really people who watch the side of these, there's, so you can't really stop them. So you do end up with situations where a person is getting pulled on their back up the mountain by a lift and uh, they can't really stand up. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's a fun thing with those pommel lifts. Very easy. Oh, yeah, this guy's doing some good skiing there. 
or trying to. Oh, goodness. Oh, crap. Wow. Oh, at least he's waving. He's good. He's good. <laughs> oh, jeez. So that was just some videos from Jerry of the day. I want to do some more of these just to break it up a little bit. You know, do some rafting still. Do some Jerry, Jerry um, ski videos still. You know, I like doing both stuff. That's kind of my life. But rafting, skiing, you know, that's the industries I live in really. Um, you know, Solomon Hat, everything like that. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. This channel has grown so much over the past year, and I love to see it growing. Um, so pass it around if you guys want to. Um, you know, just it's awesome to see the growth of this video or, or this channel, excuse me. And if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down there in the comment section. Other than that, I will catch you guys in the next video.